is Michelle Turner, a movement specialist and educator. Thank you for joining us, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. April is National Autism Month. Yes, it is. Movement and pain specialists, uh, what does a movement and pain specialist do? Uh, in, in relationship to autism, uh, one of the main things that autistic um, children have is they have no awareness of where they are in space. So where you see the stimming and so forth, um, people look at that as self-gratification. But what it is is that they have not reached a milestone of where they are. I'm sitting on this chair. I know I have a wall behind me. My table's here. I'm um, in Prescott. I'm in Arizona. So what happens is, is their brain is constantly looking for input of where am I, where, and that's where they're almost being like a little gyro. And, and how did you become involved in this, Michelle? Uh, because of my son, who you'll meet shortly. Um, my son was Graham. doing fine, my son Graham, mm -hmm. and at 13 months had severe regression. He ended up getting the disease from his vaccine. Um, he, he got it instead of getting the antibodies, and his regression was just so severe. And one of his specialists told us about this method, and there was no one down here in the valley. And after seeing him walk within like two days, my husband said, uh, you're going to learn how to do this. And I said, after starting this uh, movement Correct. treatment? We went to California. All right. Do we have de definitive research and information and proof that vaccine does cause some of this? Okay. Well, 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 in Graham's case, okay. he actually did get the disease. He had the haemophilus influenza a shot. Instead of producing the antibodies, he got the disease. Now, that wasn't diagnosed till he was four. They did not find the infection. So now he also has no immune system, but that's a whole other thing. What I believe is that Due to vaccines and other environmental issues at, at the one to two year level, it causes such trauma to the system that without intervention, it goes into the autism. So I don't believe that you get a vaccine and you have autism tomorrow. So However, we're not laying it all at the feet of the vaccine. No, but I, I don't think it helps, it, you know, right. depending on, and, and you'll see the pictures in Graham's case. I mean, it's just startling. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're looking right now at a picture of Graham at what age? Uh, and he was just at one years old on the uh, left hand side where he's happy eating and you can see um, by you know 18 months, two years, that, that's where uh, people call the sensory issues. They can't handle just even the, the feel of the icing and so forth just on his hand. It's almost like it's, it's attacking him. Really? Yeah. And this was following? Uh, he had the Haemophilus influenza shot, the HIV shot. So uh, the, the one picture is prior? The, yes, the, this is prior of him eating. Now this is also prior that he was walking just fine. And the next shot is him at 15 months. It's hard to tell. You can see his eye is rolling. His left eye is actually rolling back into his head. He has no backbone. He can't walk anymore. Um, we kind of just propped him on a rock for a family little picture, but it's, um, it's scary. Yes. And this is the last good picture I had of Graham. Okay. Uh, and on the left. On the, on the left. left. And you can mm -hmm. just see how muscle tone and, and everything. He's just, he's drooling. He's stabilizing the head with his tongue. He's W sitting. Um, as you can see, he had dimples. The dimples are gone. The muscle tone is gone. He lost about 60% of his muscles. Now, uh, when we find that that happens and, and you have uh, information and definitive information as you call it, when we find that happens, how then does the medical profession acknowledge this and justify it? Uh, they don't. Um, I really, like I said, I did not know he had the infection until he was four years old. Uh, they thought I was one of those moms that couldn't handle that my son had autism and I was looking for a medical excuse as to why he was this way. Um, and I said, he had autism, I can deal with that, but he's also sick as a dog. And, um, and I mean, he had 45 days in the hospital. I mean, he had uh, trauma to his system that I was justifying, his hair was falling out, you know, et cetera. But what happened was, he he no longer was talking. He no longer, I mean, you could just say, you know, where's the dog? And he'd be like, the dog. And all of this was gone. So I found myself raising my voice. You think they're not paying attention, touching him. Um, again, you think your son's sick. So and it's going to be the, go back to where he was. Prior to the vaccine, he was making a reasonable, normal correct, correction correct. in his age category. Correct. And there are two forms of autism. There is a genetic based autism where infants are going to show signs of delays that if not intercepted will lead into the autism. So his development was happening his on schedule was prior to, to the, correct. the vaccine. Correct. 
Now with April being Autism Awareness Month, do you find support with other parents who are dealing with similar issues? Oh yeah, even they had the Empire State Building blue this year, so you know it's becoming much yeah. more of a national thing. Mm -hmm. um, people are still really scared in a lot of ways because um, they're thinking that we're looking for a diagnosis at three months old. That's not the case. Um, my thing is the information just needs to be out there, so if you decide you want to intervene, you know, many of my, my doctors mm -hmm. just said, wait and see, Einstein didn't talk till he was three, and that's not my problem. My problem is my son's not walking properly. What can I do to help him walk or eat? He lost mm -hmm. using utensils, um, you know, just basic mm -hmm. things, and I just wanted them back. What's the typical age diagnosis uh, with autism? About three, three and a half. So you've missed three years of, of intervention therapy, however you want to look at it. So by three, they can get a firm grasp on whether it's autism or not? Correct. Graham does have an official 299 autism. Um, for That means full-blown autism. There's a wide variety of diagnoses. In the state of Arizona, you need an autism diagnosis, though, to get services. If it's Asperger's, uh, sensory integration disorder, all of those kind of things, unless the diagnosis says autism, you're not going to get state services. So it must be very specific yes, to yes. that. And that's also, too, where people are feeling that doctors are jumping the gun, giving a child an autism diagnosis that maybe could have had a lesser degree but again these the children just need help it's not about you know the label per se how Go ahead. How many children in the United States have autism? Uh, right now, the latest count is down to one in 150. Um, there has been some rumors out about one in, in 89. Mm -hmm. um, boys do get to get it more than women do or girls do, um, partly because of the X factor. A, a, a male mm -hmm. child only has an X and a Y chromosome. The Y chromosome is only for sex. The X, um, that's what you live off of. That's your DNA, where girls have two Xs, and both Xs are not the the same so a girl will run off the good X chromosome and that's why you don't see girls having um, the disease as much mm -hmm. however when they do get the autism they get it a lot harder it really affects them quite um, severe socially versus having the spectrum stuff as the boys do when we come back from commercial break Graham will be joining us you will be demonstrating mm -hmm. uh, what I'll be actually working on him. I'll be giving him a movement lesson, what I do. Um, uh, one of the things that I look for in a child when they're or organizing the back, if a child's like this, a child shouldn't slouch, first of all. It's just not, you know, right. they mm -hmm. sit up, they're right. When you see a child slouching like this, now let's say if a parent's behind them calling to them, well, how are they going to respond? They can't, it's just too much work. And so that's where people say, oh, he's just watching, he's just playing. But it limits the range of his life. Oh, interesting. And I, I, one of the things I look for is to bring the back up so they can look, they can see, and see that so, there's a world out there. Again, is movement. becoming yes uh, movement and that's what I you're e. going to be showing right. us and the brain's movement uh, you stay right there Graham will be joining Michelle his mother and we're going to demonstrate a little bit of the movement uh, method uh, to help autism Back after this.